Hi guys. After Thursday's, uh, should I call it a spell? Whatever. Um, I'm feeling a lot better today. A heck of a lot better, actually. It's only taken like two days to recover from that spell, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty much hunky dory. Um, anyway, it's now Sunday. Oops. Sunday the 24th of April and it's almost 11 o'clock, it's 10.57 according to my uh, PC clock um, Nemo, your timing is crap because I want to stand up um, I have been to Mum's but I have got four more laptops which I will show you in just a moment I'm actually now cutting quite a few things out of my diet because uh, I think my body is telling me enough is enough <laughs> or it's just trying to kill me I haven't figured out which yet <laughs> anyway Ooh. just turn you around I've got a few bits there is a couple of bits I left at mum's because I left them in the bloody carrier bag um, I've got this, a little laptop cooler. Now, I haven't figured out how you work it. There's three LEDs, there's a switch with three settings and two USB ports. Um, but there is no other means of connecting power to the fans other than via those. So I presume you connect it to the USB port on your laptop. Which means I'm going to have to find up to test it. A um, USB cable with um, a male connector on each end. Anyway, let's get into the lappy tops. First one is this Asus, and it's um, one of those mini netbook things. Um, I don't know about the colour, it's not really me, but if this works, I am tempted to use this in the bedroom. It's on Windows 7 Star. It's got Intel Atom Dual Core. And it's got a few other bits written down here. Resume in seconds. Dual Core CPU. Enjoy Full HD 1080p. Movie playback. 12 hours long battery life. And it's the E triple E PC and I can't remember the model number off the top of my head it's under the uh, battery but I did google this I don't know if this one works because at the moment I don't have any form of power to connect in there I may have to butcher one together once I google it again because when I googled it at mum's I forgot to uh, see what the voltage is and I can't quite see it on here because it's all creased and whatnot. See the 18 or 19 volt. Ah, it's the EEE PC 1025CE is the model number. And I actually like how this battery sort of hinges. You drop it in like that and then just go beep. But apparently the memory is soldered and that comes with a gigabyte of um, DDR3. I know it's only a gigabyte, but it is DDR3, so that's one I would love to work, but because I want that one to work, it probably doesn't. Now we've got this Dell, a Dell Inspiron, Inspiron Mini, the Mini 10. This one um, does work. I have had this one powered up. It's on Windows XP believe it's got a gigabyte of DDR2 memory and an Intel Atom processor again but according to the specs online this only has the um, single core processor but yeah this one did fire up absolutely fine so um, that's actually another one I could actually use in a bed I want to use one of these small ones because uh, they take up less room and I haven't got to move the pillow Right, now I've got these two. Now, we've got this Packard Bell, which is great because I don't actually have a Packard Bell 
um, laptop in the collection. So and this one is a Packard Bell. Where's the model? It's the Easy Note A8. 19 volt, 3.42 ounce for average. Windows XP. Now it does turn on, but unfortunately. I can't get to the desktop because it's password protected and I don't know the password. But this one does work and it does have a charger with it. Um, but I think what I'll do, I'll just run a fresh copy of Windows XP on it. If I can um, get the drivers for this, I can't see why not. It's in good condition. It's got that little crack there, right in the corner of the lid. But other than that, it's quite a nice looking little laptop. I like it. And then the other one I've got, the last one, let's put this over here for the moment. Also works. Someone's in. <laughs> it's a Toshiba Equium. I presume I pronounced that right. With a heck of a long model number there, the PSA 67E. Well, I presume that's all you need for that number. I actually had um, an older version of this. It looks very similar to one I had when I... Um, cool. I must have had that about eight years ago now. Because um, I was using it when I was in the hostel in Chroma. But it, didn't, it was an older model because it didn't have any Wi-Fi or anything on it. But this has got Wi-Fi built in. Um meant for Windows XP so I might restore it to that if I choose to actually keep it in the collection but again this one's got a password on it so I can't get to desktop <laughs> but uh, it's in good condition you know you'd expect the odd mark on the lid being a used laptop and whatnot but um, what I mean by good condition you know there's no cracks breakages, bits missing, screw wise they do look complete, oh that must be the battery, I would have put the battery at the front on this one, it is a Toshiba laptop though and they are pretty good, I think this one's a Toshiba isn't it, yeah, so yeah I've got some laptops to play with, um, bum 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 bum, think the power adapter I want is in this bag. So I was just going to power one up. That's what I was going to do. I'll, just, I'll turn you that way so you can see me if I can actually turn the screen so I can actually see what I'm filming. Not a lot, unfortunately. Cable. I think it's in here. Yeah, it is. That's the one for the um, that's the one for the thingy. I was actually hoping to boot the Dell up, but I'll have to dig deep for an adapter to fit that. And I don't think I've got one in my box, to be honest. Um, not the box in the bag. Every other adapter. The uh, Shiba one will fit. Right. Mm. No. Bit too loose. I'll have to find one later and we can. Um, well, actually, what I'll do, I'll just pause the video and uh, I'll go see if I can find one. Okay, I found an adapter. Straight off, actually. It was straight in the top of my uh, tub. So I'm going to hit that. Power button. I did power up at mum's so perfectly fine. There we go. Booting up even quicker actually at the moment. Might check the specs on this as well. I've got an adapter plugged into the Toshiba so we can power that one on. I might show you what happens and I can do the same with that one because I've got the power adapter for that one down here as well. 
somewhere. It's a little one. No, oh, there it is. Oh. I'm just gonna sit you there for a minute because we're tangled up. I'm gonna put them in a bloody carrier bag and they get all tangled up. Yay! That is the noise that you want to hear. It's only got tangled in a friggin' knot. How the hell has that happened? I picked them up and stuffed them into a carrier bag. Sorry, neighbour. That wasn't deliberate. Right. I'm not going to do it again. Put that one on there. There we go. Your computer might be at risk. AVG Antivirus Free Edition 2013 might be out of date. Uh, yeah, just a bit. We're three years on from that. It's like three years out of date. But this has Wi-Fi as well, I think. Yeah, so if I do function and that button, that should activate our Wi-Fi. Found the wireless networks, that's good. Should we see if it'll connect wirelessly? It looks like their favourite browser was uh, Google Chrome. I was just getting my card with my details on, so no, I'm not showing you. It echoes when it makes that notification sound. This is actually picking up a lot of uh, things. Right, so I've got to... Uh... I've got to type bloody thing in again, haven't I? To confirm it. Question is, does it connect? I've got a, a um, Wi-Fi card for a laptop as well. You don't need them nowadays because all laptops come with built-in Wi-Fi. But why isn't that connected? It didn't connect for some reason. <laughs> deal with that later but yeah it seems to be working all right doesn't seem to be too slow not for what it is and oh, I hate that view switch to classic view switch to classic view thank you let's hope if I actually click on it I suppose system one point three gigahertz gigabyte of RAM it's not bad. It's not bad at all for a little old XP. I could actually install a couple of things on this if I can get the Wi-Fi at bloody work and uh, use this one in the bedroom. Working fine from the 19 volt adapter. Let's shut this down now. I have no idea what batteries are like on any of these. The only thing I could do is leave them plugged in overnight and see if any actually take a charge. That is uh, the only thing I can do, right. But this adapter actually fits that perfectly. Right. I just want that. <laughs> Plug in the uh, Toshiba. Made a lovely spark sound. Right, we've got power lights on for that. Open her up. Press on. Someone's installed Windows 7 on this. 
Windows 7 Home, I believe. But, uh, it's not starting up too bad. I've got no idea what memory is installed on it or what processor this is running. But, uh, I, was, I must admit, I was quite surprised that someone's actually put Windows 7 on it. That must be running slow as hell. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. I think I'm going to put stickers on these so I know which ones to use on what laptops, to be honest. So if I put the Dell Inspire on blah -de blah whatever it is, M10, on a sticker and put it on that, then I know to use that adapter. I haven't got to go digging through those trying to find it. <clears throat> um, see, password protected. And the only hint it gives is, um, baby, that's the hint. So, uh, let me turn this off. And uh, I don't think I'll bother turning that one on because it just does exactly the same thing as this one. Uh, so. I have got... Um, that universal laptop adapter, but I don't think I'm going to have a bit that's small enough. So I think I may end up making my own cable for that one. So it runs or uses these. I don't think it does one small enough. Because that's quite a small connector on that Asus one. But if I can find a connector or something. Or a connector from like another laptop. I think that one's too big. This is going to be a nightmare to try and find it for this. <laughs> it might be an eBay jar. Look how thin it is. It's thinner than that. This one? No. Nope. yards too big, so is that one. I've got a thin one like this. That one works. So I've got that one. And... That one as well. I seem to fit. Well, they seem to be the only two I've got in here that will. What about this one? No, nope. but I don't know what the um, voltage is. I mean, where the hell am I? If it's 19 volt, where the hell am I going to get them from this? Oh, I'd have to butcher one of these and probably solder a couple of wires onto these, and you know, which probably wouldn't be a bad thing because I'd rather butcher one like that. Before you know to check it works. Actually I do believe I've got a couple in here. That goes with that. I'll label that one as well. I think I've got a couple in here which already have stripped ends on them. It's not even a laptop one that one. Mm. Oh and guess what I found? I found a 5 volt one in here as well. Typically. Kicking around in here, I know it's in here somewhere. We do have one, like I said, with all the ends stripped off. And I've just dropped the connector. Come back. There's no way I've got one with a small enough adapter on it in here. No wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. 
can do. Might be able to get it to do something with this. Might, there's a big might. Uh, so, I think for the rest of the evening, I'm going to have a play with that and see if I can actually get it to power up. Um, well, the Toshiba's currently plugged in, so I'm going to leave that one plugged in to see if the battery charges. I might do that with the red one as well, actually. Got the charger up there, just need to go and grab another cloverleaf cable from my drawer. Oh, sugar. Right. Figure out which is uh, positive and negative, because I could just uh, put the connector in at the end of this. Which is actually what I'm going to do when I find the best fit one. Seems to be that one. Oh, I will try both. That one's quite a tight fit as well. I've got a feeling it's got to go that way in as well. For it to be sent a positive. Right. I might just disconnect where I connected the USB cable on, connect it straight onto one of these, and uh, Bob's your uncle. It should do something, I hope. <laughs> that really would be nice if this actually worked. Mind you, as it's not that old, there might be something wrong with it. You know, these XP ones, the chances are, they do work, they've just been dumped because uh, they're too old. <laughs> right. I could just try it on the USB, but I don't think it's actually going to do anything. Oh, actually. No, it's risky. I don't see no indication lights. It's got built-in camera up the top here. Nah. I will. Uh, I will Google this just to see what the um, voltage is. I'll do that in a little while. In the meantime, I need to get that plugged into that and that one on charge. I could sort that one out. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I've been wanting something that big ever since my little black compact died on me. Because it was just, put, like I said, perfect for the bedroom. Mind you, that one's not very big. Anyway, that is it. A bit of a laptopy video for you tonight. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you want to, of course. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.